the third and the last discussion for the day. And this is the Uganda Matter Museum. Yeah? This is in Namugongo. So when you plan to visit, remember it is in Namugongo. Yeah? We've really get gotten lost because we didn't know exactly where this place is. And most of the people were asking if you so know. Uh, maybe we are not expressing, expressing ourselves clearly, but anyway, so we are here and we just want to get the history of you know, the matters, what really happened. Yeah, we just keep hearing it and watching, you know, um, the movie. So now we want to hear it from someone who has, you know, the deep history. So they have an entry fee here. So you pay twenty thousand. Uganda and Chile, it's all international visitors. It doesn't matter where you're from, Kenya, Uganda, Ghana, all that. Where would I go? Where would I be if I could not walk with him? I'm in his hands, he carries me home, and frees me from all my Side, he shines his light upon me And when I'm weak he's always strong His love for me will lead me home so, What is called Mukajanga, the chief executioner And yeah, they used to have their meetings here And in the deep course so of the So these are the people who, who killed them? Yes, these are the people who killed them This one standing and being headed, but that gentleman seated with the skin of love part on his head. He's called Mukajanga, and that port next to him is the port of local alcohol they were taking to make them more aggressive while killing. And behind him, the, that's where they used to keep all their killing tools, like bangers, knives, spears, axes, clubs were all kept there before execution. And then after meeting, they came and sharpened their killing tools somewhere there. Yes, this is where they came and sharpened all the killing tools and they're using stones. Yeah. That's the stone they used to use to sharpen their killing tools. Because there was nothing like files, so therefore they're using stones for sharpening all the killing tools. And like I told you, they're using they're dragging them from Unyonyo up to here. They are dragging them from Unyonyo up to here. Yeah. And for those that go tired, they tie your legs like this and drag you by bags. So after reaching here, they are seen bleeding on the backs. The boats were exposed. Then people were asking them in vernacular that Bano Bazebacha, the reply was Bazena Mugongo, which means how did this one reach here? They reached here by backs, and by backs in local language is Namugongo. Then therefore, the place was nicknamed to be Namugongo after matters were dragged on their backs. And later on, the king ordered them to be put in prison for seven days. They are put in prison for seven days with no food, so that they can have a chance of denouncing their faith in God. But I say, no, we are ready to die for our God, our Creator. This is where the prison was, the 25 martyrs kept here, hands tied with ropes, uh, legs tied in a hole made of logs like that, so that no one escapes from the prison. And the prison was closer to the torture tree that uh, when they release one, and they start cutting, Other, others can see, so, so that to give them a chance of denouncing. Mm -hmm. But they say, no, mm -hmm. we have to die for our faith in God, and we have to follow our friends who are being killed. Then from here, from the prison, they are all released and tied on the tree, the torture tree, for execution. Yeah, this is the tree where the martyrs were tied onto and chopped into pieces. You know, there were many ways of killing them. Some were beheaded, some were speared, and some were even castrated. And this was the castration area where some of the martyrs were castrated from. And they're also dismembering both their bodies one by one, like cutting their arms, their legs, dividing them into halves. Mm -hmm. Among the 25 martyrs killed here, there was a young boy who was 14 years old called Kizitu. Oh, is, it where, is this where St. Kizitu came from? Yeah, 
this is where the Saint Kizito Oh, so this is Saint Kizito? Yeah, this is the Saint Kizito. Oh, wow, my God. He was 14 years old? Yeah, he was 14 years old. Wow. Oh, bless your soul. This is the Saint Kizito. So people come and then they leave the rosary here with yes. Christian? Oh, I wish I had my rosary. Oh, wow. This is so sad. Just look at him. Guys. How old have you got him there executing them? Yeah, he's only 14. He's using axes, fingers, knives, spears, axes, hitting them with clubs, cutting their arms, their legs, plucking up their eyes. Even. This is so sad. I don't know why it's sad. Then after they were killed, some were some died right here on the spot, but others were still breathing. Then the king ordered them all to be burned, because their God might come and resurrect them back to life. And the only solution is to burn them completely to ashes. Oh, so he knew our God had the power to resurrect people. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing. Oh, really? Amazing. Now the problem is all these people he killed because he repented and he died a believer. He did not pay for those sins. Yeah, because after killing the martyrs, there were some calamities that broke him. Oh, for real? First, yeah, a wildfire came from nowhere and burnt the palace. No one knows where the fire came from and no one knows Which who set it. Which year was that? That was in 80, okay, in 1998. Before your independence, yeah. the story that Dead was giving us. Wow. So... He died a believer. He was like, God is now already working before he kills me. I have to repent. And so repented. there was the wildfire. What else happened in terms of the calamities? So he was crossing to go and uh, to hunt an, uh, in an island mm -hmm. called Lake Victoria. Mm -hmm. Yes, he lost his gun. That was a gift from the missionaries. Mm -hmm. And to him, according to their beliefs, it's now something is coming to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to him, God was now working. You know, you know, what I like is how you've made these things so real with, you know, the, what do you call them sculptures, sculptures yeah? Yes. This is, I don't know, as a Christian, it just, it, it feels so real. Yeah, it's fixed. Yeah, and I, 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 I feel, it's the same thing I was telling them, there's nothing we enjoy today for free that yeah. someone has not paid for. Sure, sure. Yeah. Someone has to die, another one has to be tortured for us to enjoy even the freedom that we have. Yeah, sure. And now even to enjoy Christianity in Africa. Yeah, in Africa. They died. They are the seal of Christianity in yes. Africa. This is really awesome. So it, would have, so it would have been more interesting with the lights because you will see like real fire. Real fire. Oh, wow. Uh, you guys are so awesome. Who created this? Who came up with the idea of creating the sculptures? Oh, yeah, the Archbishop of Sinan. the Oh, the arts you see, the yeah, yeah, the sculptures. Who came up the with that? The narration of the story yeah, was yeah. put him on. Ah, wow. Because his grandfather witnessed the killing of the martyrs. Oh, really? All those the ideas, the ideas, eh? ideas and they're making them right. Can you see even the, 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 the legs, the way they've been cut? It's so yeah. real, eh? Yeah, Guys, is. if you're a Christian and you're watching this, please stop and say a prayer. Especially for Saint Kizito. Oh, bless his soul. And so amazing, even the, the chief executioner here. <laughs> he also. No, he died a believer. He's called Mukajanga. Oh. Like, they stayed here over 50 years of killing people, some Muslims, some commoners, and later on they killed the Christians. Mm. And after giving seven days for the martyrs in prison with no food, mm. and none of them denounced Christianity. So even the chief they as died, the, the yes. chief killer died yeah. a, a believer. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes. Look at the way this yes. looks so real. It looks like clouds yeah. and then God is receiving them. Yes, sure. Wow, wow, guys. This is so surreal for Christianity. Wow.
So this is the burning place where where they are burnt. This is how they burnt their legs. The heads are apart and the legs in the center. So those birds are still alive like this. You start, they set the fire on the leg. They start burning from toes up to head. You can see the arrange, arrangement. Okay. Mm. You can still feel the pain. Which king was this? Mo king Mwanga. King Mwanga. He must have been a very colorless man. Eh? Yeah, he's a tough guy. We went to see his poetry. Mm. Yeah. So this one was built? The church was built? In 1935. Mm -hmm. Yes. By a gentleman called Teferu. Mm -hmm. After he collected the ashes of the martyrs and the buried, he decided to build this church hmm. over the burial ground. Hmm. So the church is still within the, yeah. the martyr museum. That's the door of the martyr museum where we were from. So now we want to go see the tombs and there's this church here. Yeah. People come and wait here. Oh, wait. Yes. Now, this would be, be a good place to do already. And so this is the tomb. The burial ground for the 25 martyrs. You said it's the ashes, eh? Because the ashes and the names of the bones, the 13 Anglicans and 12 Catholics. So, guys, this is the martyrs museum eh, behind me. And as a Christian, as a Catholic, this is so surreal. Honestly, this is so surreal. And it just, it just um, sort of affirms that for everything that we are enjoying today, somebody had to pay a price for it others sadly it is through their life so everything that you're enjoying today please know that someone paid a price for you to enjoy that and it doesn't come easy the price is always very very hefty yeah the price is very very hefty so let's always treasure everything that we are doing today because someone paid a heavy price for that honestly this has been the highlight of my trip here in um, Uganda for today. Yesterday, the highlight was different. But this, as a Christian, I've honestly, I've felt it. I've felt it. Watching it in movie, reading it in books, now seeing it. And I like how they've done it. They've, they've, they've made it so real with the sculptures, you know. It's, it, it just brings everything, all the memories. It just brings everything to life, you know. And... I'm so proud to be Christian. I don't know if I can honestly die just because I'm a Christian. Honestly, that was true sacrifice. For me, I feel like they really tried to live like Christ. You know, Christ died for our sins, and here they've died for Christianity, for Christ himself. Oh, wow. Bless, 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 bless their souls. And may they continue resting in peace. And may they continue praying for us Christians so that we can continue to continue to walk on this journey and just um, just keep the faith, keep believing in our true God, our one true God, the miracle working God. Yeah. So I think I'm going to wrap up the video right here. And as always, remember to be kind to one another, love one another and treasure every minute you spend with one another because tomorrow is not promised. Ciao!